have you noticed any differences in your reactivity, right? Because that's something we talk about a lot here on the Mindful Mama podcast is like, you know, our, our tempers arise, like we get triggered by stuff. And, um, and I'm just curious, because you have a, you know, you had, you know, your younger kids were like, kind of in the, the, I, I think I remember from reading them, <laughs> they were in that kind of like, pre pre yoga daddy stage. Mm -hmm. And then, and then as you got older, they were like with, they had yoga daddy. So was there, <laughs> did you notice any shifts and changes in, in that part of your parenting? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like, like before I was into yoga, I was just, I, 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 as a, as a kid, I was diagnosed with ADD. So I, um, which is now ADHD. And so I was always go, 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 go. Um, I had no management of my, of my mind skills to do that, like whatsoever. And so yoga, uh, cause I, I'll always have it of course, but yoga has really helps me with that. So, you know, when I was, you know, you know, you know, first became a dad, I had a really hard time with like all the different stuff happening. But once I started doing yoga, that helped me just, just manage my ADD where, um, I would notice, like when you mentioned earlier, like awareness, like that's like, I think that's like the big word, um, you know, when it comes to like having these shifts is like that awareness. And that was like the first step for me noticing when I would, you know, you know, just not have any patience for, for some like, goofy reason. And so then I would notice like, oh, why, you know, why am I not being patient right now? Why am I like, you know, just, uh, you know, get all flustered. And so over time, like noticing that when I would go back into ADD or I wasn't present with my kids, that was the other thing too. Like when I noticed what I have, have these special moments with, with my kids, like it was oh, when I was on a walk with them and my mind would go to work or something like that. And they would be talking to me about their day and I wouldn't be listening. But then over time, I'd realize like, hey, you're not listening. Because at, at first, I was probably just on autopilot and not noticing that I wasn't noticing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But over time, I started to, 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 to strengthen that like through through yoga and meditation. And so that's, you know, that, 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 that is a skill that like, I'm still working on today. But that's, that's something I, 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 I try to keep, you know, honing and strengthening. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.